Hi, my name is Abby. Hi, my name is Arthi. And we're from the Mississauga Library. It's amazing to see all the flowers and trees blossoming and blooming. But did you know that an integral part of our ecosystem are the bees? Bees have various jobs in our ecosystems, like pollinating billions of plants to maintain wildlife habitats and the production of honey for themselves and for humans. And when they need to rest, most bees like bumblebees and honeybees can go back to their colonies and to their hives. But did you know that there is such a thing as solitary bees that don't live in hives? Where do they go at the end of the night and at the end of the workday? And what can we do to help? Well, one of the ways to help is to build a bee house or a bee hotel. Bee hotels are a great way to help by providing shelter in our gardens. Giving bee houses or hotels to solitary pollinating bees, such as mason bees or leafcutter bees, helps increase pollination of your garden. So today we'll be showing you how to make your very own 3D printed bee hotel. And to do that, we'll be using the desktop version of a free 3D modeling software that's online called Tinkercad. So our instructions will include how to use your mouse and your keyboard in Tinkercad. When you finish modeling your bee hotel, if you haven't already, make sure you have watched our 3D printing introduction video and signed the waiver form before going to one of our 3D printing locations and have your bee hotel printed. So let's start. Go to the Tinkercad website and create an account by clicking on Start Tinkering. Then create a personal account. If you go through the basic training module for Tinkercad, you'll learn how to move shapes on the work plane, either using your mouse to drag shapes around or using the keyboard. You'll also learn how to change your camera view so that you can see different sides of your 3D model. You can do this by clicking on the view cube on the top left of the screen or by clicking and holding the right mouse button and moving it around. You can also zoom in and out so that you can see your model up close. Once you've completed your basic training module, you'll be able to remove material from your existing shape, copy, paste, and scale your 3D models. But even if you don't go through the basic training module in Tinkercad, we'll be going through everything step by step so that you'll be able to easily follow along as we make our very own 3D B Hotel. On the right side of the Tinkercad screen, you'll see many different shapes. Find the polygon shape and drag it to the middle of your work plane. Each of the squares on the gridded work plane represent one centimeter. To resize your hexagon, you can click and drag on the white squares around the hexagon, or you can click into the bigger white boxes that have numbers in them and type in the dimensions you want. Let's make the hexagon 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters. You can type this into the white squares to make them uniform. Make this hexagon on the work plane so that its edges are aligned with the lines on the square grid below it. This will help you use the grid to align new shapes onto the work plane going forward. Next, increase the height of the hexagon to 33 millimeters. Click the work plane tool on the right side of the screen. Click on the top of the hexagon so that you are able to add shapes at a different height along the Z axis. Add a tube shape to one corner of the hexagon. You can use this tube to hang the bee hotel. Resize the tube to 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters and place it at the top vertex of your hexagon, using the blue grid lines as a guide to center it. Next, we're going to add cylinders into the hexagon so that bees can burrow into them. Before we do that, let's change the work plane level. First, change the height of the hexagon to 5 millimeters. Click the workplace tool and then click on the top of the hexagon. Now your work plane is 5 millimeters above the blue grid instead of 30 millimeters. Select the cylinder shape and add it to the top of the hexagon. Change its dimension so that it's 8 millimeters by 8 millimeters and its height is 55 millimeters. Copy this tube and paste it the number of times you need to fill the hexagon and arrange them over the hexagon. Select the hexagon and change its height to 60 millimeters. Next, select all the shapes you've added and click on the group button or press Ctrl plus G. 
Next, reset your work plane so that any new objects you add to the work plane will be on the same level as the blue grid. You can do this by clicking on the work plane tool and then clicking anywhere on the blue grid. Since we still want to build a little roof over the hexagon, add another hexagon and place it on the empty part of the work plane grid. Increase its size to 70 millimeters and change its dimensions to 45 millimeters by 45 millimeters. Next, copy and paste the same hexagon. Lay one hexagon so that its vertices are flush with the other one, then shift it down a little bit, maybe three or four square grids down. For this second hexagon, click the hole button, which changes it from a solid hexagon to one that subtracts material from the other hexagon. Select both these shapes and click on the group button. This will create a roof-like structure that you can then move onto the top of your bee house or hotel. Make sure that this roof is not too thick. Once you have it placed where you want, select both models and group them. And that's it! We're done! In order to get it 3D printed at the library so you can test whether your bee house works, click on export at the top right menu. Click the .stl file extension option, download it, and then save it to a USB and bring it in to the library. Or you can send it to maker at mississauga.ca. As always, this is just a guide to help you get started on your very own 3D printed models. If you want to add different shapes or different elements, or if you want to make a completely different bee hotel or bee house, please do so and show us. <laughs> we want to see what you create and maybe how you're helping the bee population. And that's about it. Before signing off, please remember to check out our website for details on what's coming up next and for our digital 24-7 services where you can download ebooks, audiobooks, music, movies, magazines, and much, much more. Thanks, Thanks and see you, see you next time. time.